Hey friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Jen Sorensen and in today's video, we are making another princess soap. I've got a nice glass of wine out of my uh, princess half marathon wine glass. I'm sitting outside in my deck right now because it is just a beautiful fall evening here and I'm trying to take it in while I can. And I hope you're doing the same while you're watching this. I know many of you had said that this is very soothing for you to watch. So maybe as you're having your morning coffee or tea in my case, or if you're winding down with a glass of wine, you know, I hope you enjoy the soap. We are going to Agrabah today and we are going to make a soap inspired by Jasmine. And this was a lot of fun to make the color. These are my colors, Jasmine's colors, girl i feel you this th this i love this soap so much and i hope you guys do too so let's dive in and then i will bring you back right to this chair i'm not gonna move i'm gonna keep enjoying my wine i'll bring you back here after and i'll show you the cured result and we'll talk a little bit about that so i will see you guys real soon enjoy the soap making all right i think we are ready to go to an entire whole new world with this soap because we are channeling our inner jasmine with this soap. So let us get our lye water in. And in here I do have a little bit of sodium lactate just because I've had some issue with my soap hardening up just because it's been so humid here. So let's blend this up a little bit. I like to pulse for a few seconds with the immersion blender then stir. Let's give it a little bit of a pulse and stir. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a little bit of my fragrance oil to my drip here, just so I can get some of this incorporated. And I already had a little bit of oil from this beforehand. This is a black oxide in here, which is gonna symbolize Jasmine's hair, which is like a super dark color. And I just wanna make sure that this gets incorporated does not, is not grainy, so I'm gonna let that be. I'm using a black oxide. I don't, I love using an activated charcoal. Love it, love, love, love it. But not everyone needs an activated charcoal. I have oily skin. So activated charcoal is awesome for me. Let me take that spoon out. So what I'm gonna do, because we're channeling Jasmine, I'm gonna pull this out. That's perfect. And I'm just gonna kind of let this sit there. I am going to do a darker kind of a teal blue at the bottom and then a lighter blue, which is what's going to have the, the um, black drip in it. And I'm gonna do a gold mica line in between the two. So to start, I'm just gonna mix in my blue with the entire batch because all I have to do is lighten it with a little titanium dioxide for the, um, for the top. So this is a half tablespoon. So that's about two teaspoons or so of this mermaid blue mica, which you would think would be perfect for Ariel, but this is totally a jasmine color, like completely. To keep this somewhat liquid, I think I am going to whisk this in for now and get this to a good color. Once I separate this, I will then use my immersion blender on the bottom and the top, but I wanna kinda of keep them somewhat separate. All right, let's see how this color is working. And I suppose I can just add in the rest of my fragrance oil here, which I went super duper literal here. It's a jasmine scent. Like, come on, jasmine, jasmine, why not? Okay. Let me whisk this in, get it nice and incorporated because I want it pretty even. And I'm happy with this color. I think this is a nice, rich blue, which, you know, is the jasmine we love. It's just, just beautiful, rich, turquoisey aqua. So let's divide this up. And into the top layer will be this one, which we will add some titanium dioxide to in a minute. Uh, 
there we go. I don't measure a ton and that's okay. Yeah, we're going with that being good. Totally good. All right, I wanna thicken this one up so that I can get this in and then do my mica line. Burp this. Let's thicken this up just a little bit. Mix this up a little bit more and this fragrance oil is acting beautiful. Man, this smells so good. It literally just has this beautiful, stunning, absolutely stunning floral scent to it, like a jasmine. So let's start by pouring this in. So funny story about Aladdin, Jasmine, a whole new world. Growing up, my sister, well, we were very close with my cousins. And my sister and my cousin were a month apart. So whenever we would get together, the two of them would just belt out at the top of their lungs a whole new world. And it was, I mean, yes, I loved Disney then. I love it now. But I just remember the two of them belting out a whole new world in the car as we were going places. And it was just like, that is what I remember from Aladdin is not the movie, but my sister and my cousin who were two years younger than me. So next up, we are going to do a gold mica line to kind of signify the, um, whoop, I'm getting things everywhere, to signify the jewelry that Jasmine had. All right, I'm trying to avoid dirtying too many dishes here. Let's use the back of this spoon and get in there with this instead. I gotta tell you, gold has to be one of my most popular mica colors that I use out of anything because I do these mica lines. I use it for um, sand to get a nice tan color. So I definitely need to reorder a whole bunch of gold soon because it is just like the best. And, and if you told like 15, 16, 17 year old me that I would be ordering tons of gold colored items, I'd be like, uh, no, silver is where it's at. Come on, get with the 90s. But, I think gold is awesome now. I used to think it was like for old people because that was what my parents would wear and stuff and silver was where it was at in the 90s, but no. I love me all sorts of tones. I mix my metals, silver gold, rose gold, nickel, iron, all that stuff. I mix it all in my house my decor, and I'm totally getting off topic talking about that, but you know what? That's what I do. Okay, we've got our Michael line. Perfect, that's what we want. Now, let us focus on the top. So, let me wipe that up just a little bit. Clean that there. We got some drippage there. All right, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna move that bucket up here. Shift this over and let us work on these now. So for the black, I'm just gonna kind of whisk this in and that's pretty much all I need to do. For the top layer, I do want it a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna use my quarter inch teaspoon and I'm going to add five of these, so a teaspoon and a quarter of titanium dioxide. And I want to just give this a really light pulse because I don't want this to thicken on me. That is perfect. Okay. Excellent. We have our bottom layer. We have our top layer. So now, let's see. 
Yeah, that's getting pretty solid, but I still want to use my spatula to break the fall here. Pour right onto my spatula. Good. And hey, I didn't make a super duper mess. Perfect. We'll just get that in the mold. Wipe that off. Give our black a little bit of a stir. And let's do some drop swirls. We're going one middle side. So three right there. I will wait on that spatula. Gosh, this is such a pretty, this is kind of like a Tiffany blue right now. We'll see how it cures. But we got some Tiffany colors going right now and I am, I'm here for that. So for this next drop, I'm kind of going high and I'm just gonna kind of empty this as much as I can before scraping. And we'll get our blue in here. Yep, this is my color palette. It is absolutely 100% my color palette. Love it. Teal, aqua, all this favorite color. Absolutely hands down. Let's get that in the corners. This is setting up nicely. I am here for it. Get everything in. We have a little bit of black left that I'm gonna come back in through and then I think I will just kind of swirl them together. And then we can call this fairly good. I mean, I gotta add a little bit of glitter to this because it's just who I am. If I didn't, would it really be a princess soap? And this is why I don't really care too much about this black right now is I'm gonna swirl this and then I think this calls for some hollow glitter. I don't know about you. Well, you're not here, otherwise you'd stop me. But yes, we need some hollow biodegradable, which means that there is no plastic and that is why I can't put the glitter inside because if I put it inside, it would dissolve. So, and oh my gosh, this smells so good. So, so good. This jasmine is stunning. All right, toothpick acquired. We are just going to swirl this and yes, that contrast between the black and that aqua is fantastic. I love that so much. Look at that. I'm gonna have to bring you closer because I don't think you can truly see how awesome this is. And yes, we are going to need lots of hollow glitter. And this is like her jewelry. And yes, we are mixing metals. We've got silver hollow. We've got a gold mica line. We've got it all. Who cares? I want pretty. Excellent. All right, let me take you down and show you this design because seeing what you see here, yes, I just did that, looks muddy, but when I come down and when you see what an inch bar is going to look like, it looks fantastic. Let me bring you down. All right, as you can see, it's not as muddy as it looked from above. So if you think about this in one inch segments, so one inch segments, it's going to look fantastic. And yes, that hollow is that amazing. Look at that rainbow. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite, I think but I love the hollow on the black. And look at how uniform that side looks. I don't know, I can't pick a favorite. All right, stick around, see what this looks like when I cut into it and how the colors look in probably about 24 hours of my time. So stick around. Look at that glitter. So 
48 hours later, and this is ready, more than ready to cut into. And I, I gotta tell you, what a difference that sodium lactate makes to these bars in hardening it up right now in this humidity. So they say that this formula for these bars does not need it, but I think just because I'm in such a humid area, it's mandatory. Oh, yes. There we go. That's kind of the color that you can see. There's a little bit of color difference from the top to the bottom, and I'm kind of okay that it's super close in color because Jasmine doesn't have a lot of difference. But yeah, look at that and the top. Yes. So let's keep cutting into this. Did I go too far? Yeah, you know, it, it's amazing. I, I try to keep some stuff out of, you know, additives and things like that. But it's just, sometimes you just got to do it. And it's, it's a salt. Literally, it's a salt. That's all it is. And it helps make the bar a little bit harder. So, um, you know, I'm talking about not including it, including it, all this stuff. It's literally just a little bit of salt in there to help make it a little bit harder. And I think the harder bar is going to make a longer lasting bar for all of you. So... I think it's just fascinating what one ingredient can do in making a bar nice and hard. Man, this just looks, and that's kind of nice look at it. You got a nice gold mica line. You got the shimmer on top. Ah, oh, yes, this looks fantastic. I am super happy. I'm, you, you might even say I'm in a whole other world with how this turned out. So there is the bar. I am going to keep cutting into this and I will check in with you as always in a few weeks so you can see how this cures. All right, welcome back. And I can honestly say this soap is fantastic. There's not a ton of contrast between these two layers and I'm okay with that. Um, I think this smells amazing. I love it. And I know I say that about all of them, but this really, really smells so good. They got, they did such a great job of capturing that jasmine scent. I don't know how they did it, but mm, I love it so much. This is fantastic. And I wanted to show you because you guys are buying this. I made another loaf and this one I got a little bit more contrast in. Um, I kind of like the drop swirls in this one a little bit better, uh, but the colors, yeah. Teal, teal is my favorite color. If you ever need to know that, that is the case. I also wanted to show you the Tiana soap here. And I'm showing this to you because part of the video was corrupted. So I wanted to show this to you and talk to you about it for just a couple minutes here. This is amazing. The scent that I used is called Mardi Gras. And it kind of smells like a drink you would get at Mardi Gras. And I have my notes down in front of me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read them. The scent notes are grapefruit, orange, strawberry, and jasmine. And that's why I'm talking about these two together because this has some notes of jasmine in it, but it's very, very subtle. It's much more fruity, but that jasmine kind of balances it out. And this one it, itself, I, I think is really, really nice. The colors are, this is exactly what I wanted it to look like. I am so happy with the two different shades of green, a little bit of brown for for everything. It, it just, this is, I, I love this. You guys know by now I love fruity scents. This is fantastic. When I remake this, I will film it again and I'll get this out there for you to take a look at because I, I know a lot of you guys like to see how they're made. So I wanna hear from you. What do you think? Do you like kind of the monochromatic, tone here do you like it do you like the gold mica line what do you think and, and do, actually here's my question for you do you like the literal interpretation of jasmine with the scent of jasmine or would you like to see more unique creative scents that maybe sort of have some nods to the characters or do you want do you like do you want a jasmine soap to smell like jasmine let me know in the comments below until then, I hope you get out there, create something beautiful. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. I've got a lot more stuff coming up. Again, October, Villains Month, lots of great stuff. So again, I will see you guys real soon. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.